of a one Paul here. Today I'm going to go over probably the last, these are going to be the last two videos I do of pick three, pick four. So you can expect those in the next two days. Uh, so these are probably be the last time I do it. Uh, after I do these videos, I'm going to, this channel is probably going to be more focused on just affiliate related stuff. But I've kind of figured out a strategy on my own. And today I'm going to talk about pick three and the, the next video I'm going to talk about pick four and that'll probably be it. But today I want to kind of go over uh, this pick three strategy. I call it uh, where you, remo you remove a number so and it makes playing the game a little bit easier. Now with this method, uh, you can do both. You can play box or you can play straight. But I prefer what I would do is I start with a box, see if I'm winning, scale it up, and then, then you can do the same strategy to play straight to win straights more. So I'm going to explain the strategy real quick here. But I wrote down the like the last 10 days right here I'm going to show we're going to walk you through a couple of these uh, and I'm going to go through my formula uh, with these numbers and I'm going to see if the if the next number wins so in order to do this strategy it's very very simple first thing you do is you draw a tic-tac-toe You just draw a simple tic-tac-toe right there and what you want to do is you want to take the previous number now <clears throat> when I play I only play numbers that are different I don't play any other numbers so keep that in mind all the numbers have to be different for me to use this strategy so what I do is I take I take all the numbers from the previous draw and I put it in here here in here and what I do is I personally I'll rank them from greatest to least because I think it kind of helps the strategy so there's the first one we're gonna do is three six nine see on the bottom there three six nine so I'm gonna put these in the center three six nine three six nine now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count one and go all the way around. So we got zero, one, two, three is already there. Four, five, six is already there, and seven. You'll be left with something like this. So we have the numbers right here. And we have three, six, nine. So from the nine, I went up and went all the way around. That's what you do for every single number. Now, when you plug this in, and this, this is very easy to figure out, this strategy. When you put all the numbers in a tic-tac-toe grid and you are left with nine numbers, nine different numbers, that means there's one number that is left out. So you have to figure out what that number is that's left out. So from looking at this, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and zero. So... The number eight, the number eight is left out. So the formula is really simple. You basically go to that site that I mentioned before uh, where you can get the combinations. Uh, uh, get the combinations for a box. And then all you do for this strategy is remove all the numbers the leftover number the number that's not in the tic-tac-toe grid that number you're going to remove all the numbers with that number in it it's that simple so let's look real quick in this scenario i remove eight now i'm not going to go over the you know you, know, you guys figure it out on yourself but uh, basically you know remove eight if you wanted to do box, you remove eight. If you want to play straight, you're going to have to play a lot more combinations. You're still just going to be removing all combinations with eight or whatever the leftover number is. So what we're going to do is, so we look at the next number that came out. And we see right there, it was one, two, six. So let's look 
at our, our tic-tac-toe grids. We got one, two, and six. So it hit. So we would have won that one. We would have won the three, six, nine. That's one win. So now let's do the same thing with the one, two, six. Which, actually I'm going to skip ahead because this one won't win. Let's show you why. <sighs> see that one, two, six, see what the next number is? There's two of the same number. So when there's two of the same number, it's not a winner because the number that's going to be pulled out, all the numbers are going to be different. So one, two, six will not be a winner. Now I'm going to show you what I do in a situation for when there's two of the same number. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing for 626. 626, we're going to do the same thing except we're going to do something different since it, there's two of the same number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change one of the sixes to a mirrored number. So it's going to be 6, 2, and what's the mirrored number of six? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. So we're gonna make it a six, two, one. And then we just follow the same strategy. Now what I like doing, I like, I like putting these in order greatest to least in the grid. So in this empty grid here, up here will be the smallest and then just Greatest to least, or at least the greatest. So I'm going to put one, two, six. One, two, and six. So I'm going to do the same thing. Add one, go all the way around. Here we got seven, eight, nine, zero. One's already there. Two's already there. Three and four. So looks like I got whatever. Right here. See it? Right there. So now let's check and see if this grid would one. So the next number is 826. So what we got right here, it's kind of hard to do with the camera, but we got... There's there's 8. Let's see, 826 is here, so this one would win. So we have another another winner. So now we're going to do the 826. So I'm going to do the grid and I'm going to rank, I'm going to do these from the least to the greatest. So it's going to be 2, 6, and 8. 2, 6, and 8. So now add one, go all the way around. It's nine, zero, one, two's already there, three, four, five, and six is already there. So, see that right there? So now, we find out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven's not there. So in this scenario, in this scenario, I would remove seven from all the combinations in a box, or if you're doing box, if you're doing straights, you remove seven. With with all the numbers being different, you re, you remove the number that is not in the tic tac toe grid. Does that make sense? So in that in that scenario, I would remove seven from the combinations, and I would play all combination the all, all the other combinations because all the other combinations are in the grid. So let's see if. This would win here. So we got that was eight two six. So the next number is eight nine three came out. So we got we got another winner. Got the eight, got the nine, and got the three. So that is another winner. So now I'm going to do the 893. So I'm going to put, well, this one is not going to win. So I'm going to skip because the next number is a, uh, the next number is a double. So that's easy. 
put an X there. So now we're going to do the 464 and I'm going to kind of do what I did before. And 464 and one of the num one, one of the fours I'm going to do the mirror number. So what is the mirror number of 4? We got 5 two, so we got 9. So it's going to be 4 6 and 9. So one of the fours, the mirror number is a nine. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put them in the grid now from greatest to least four, six, and nine. Four, six, and nine. So now I count one, go all the way around. Zero, one, two, three. Four's already there. We got five. Six is already there. Seven. Left with this. Okay, so now we check and see if any of these numbers hit. So the winner is nine, six, and five. So if we see right here, nine, six, and five hit. So that is a winner. Four, six, four is a winner. So now we're going to do the 965. Okay. So I'm going to put the 965 greatest to least. So we're going to do 5, 6, 9. 5, 6, and 9. 5, 6, and 9. So now we count one, go all the way around. 0, 1, 2, 3. Four, five is already there, six is already there, and seven. So what is the leftover number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is no eight. There is no eight in that grid. So the winner number is five, five, one, two. And guess what? Five, one, two, wins. So that is a winner. So now we're gonna do five, one, two. So I'm gonna arrange this one, two, five. Put that in the grid, one, two, and five. One, two, and five, put that in the grid. Now count one, go all the way around. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, one's already there, two's already there, and three. Okay, so what's the missing number? Four. So we'll remove four from all the combinations. So let's see what the number is. So eight, two, three comes out. What do you, what do you know? Eight, two, and three, right there. Winner. Okay, so that's another winner. That's three in a row there. Uh, so now let's do the eight, two, three. Uh, so I'm gonna arrange the eight, two, three as two, three, eight. Two, three, eight. And I'm going to count one, go all the way around. Nine, zero, one, two's already there, three's already there, four, five, and six. And the leftover number is seven. Oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, the leftover number is seven. Because I already, I already can tell. Uh, so, seven actually appeared, so it didn't win. The, the leftover number appeared in the next drawing, so it's not always a guarantee. So this was not a winner. Too bad. It's because the, the the seven appeared and that was the leftover number. It doesn't always win. So let's do the little... Hmm. You know, that's today. I don't think that it was a two, three... Oh, I can't do any more because the next number is tonight's drawing. So, anyway, 
uh, hope you guys got value in that little video uh, I'm probably not going to be doing any more pick three videos uh, the next video I'm gonna do is a pick four it's pretty similar uh, to this but other than that other than these videos uh, I'm probably going to be building a site together I'm currently working on two different sites right now building them up blogging putting some content out there but I want to build a kind of a website that goes over kind of all the strategies I've done on this channel so people can find it because I, I'm probably not gonna be talking much more about lottery stuff on this channel I want to go into affiliate and other things so anyway, if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in future videos.